Hello friends, welcome to Extreme Excel. In this video, we'll share one tip uh, of making uh, your Excel worksheet uh, interactive. Uh, let's say uh, you want to do something like uh, uh, there is a pop-up which you want to display on certain uh, elements uh, or certain events. So for example, if you click on this, a pop-up should appear and if you click on something else, that pop-up should disappear. This is uh, one such example uh, which we'll be discussing in this video. So we can achieve this uh, easily uh, using VBA uh, and you can uh, pop up different pop-ups on uh, different elements. Now let's see how to replicate this in a new uh, worksheet. Uh, let's say I have uh, one uh, cell which says shape one show and then shape one height. Okay and then shape two show and shape two height right i choose uh, two uh, shapes out of uh, these shapes let's say uh, i'm calling let's say i'm using these call outs right so this is let's say sh uh, shape one i just copy and paste here and i use shape two uh, i first of all rename them using let's call this as shape one oops Uh, SHAPE1 right and let's call this as shape 2 right so we have uh, two shapes shape 1 and shape 2 in this sheet these are by default visible now to control these uh, control the visibility of these uh, two shapes let us uh, move it a bit below so that we can click on hide buttons also right let, let's mark it here okay so when i click on this this uh, pop-up should appear when i click on this this should disappear right so and let's say we have a hide all and show all so we have uh, these four controls so first of all open vb editor go to a particular sheet on which you have different shapes and because you want uh, your shape uh, to appear or disappear on change of selection of a cell so you should select selection change event in VBA right so the headers of uh, the sub procedure all uh, are added by default you just need to specify the target so let's say if target dot address is equal to now we need to see the address so for this uh, address uh, of this uh, sh for, for this uh, shape to appear the address of cell is c4 right so let's put the address here so if we are clicking on c4 dollar c dollar 4 this takes absolute address once a user selects the cell shape 1 should appear so on active sheet shapes the name of shape is shape 1 its visible property should be set to true right so whenever a user clicks on c4 this shape should be visible whenever a user clicks on e4 this shape should be invisible so its visible property should be false similarly for c6 and e6 shape one, uh, 2 should uh, show the same behavior so c6 and e6 she two, uh, shape 2 should uh, follow the same behavior and when I click on hide all bo uh, both the shapes should disappear uh, so for hide all this is C10 so I add another block here so if it is C10 in that case sheet 1 visibility should be false and shape visibility should be false and similarly if I say C12 both shapes should appear so both should be true since I have done the coding now let's say first of all I click on hide all oops nothing has happened let's see why so because it is stopped here let's run it again now 
so when i click on hide all uh, both disappeared when i click on sh show all both appear when i click on uh, again let's say click on hide all when i click on shape one show shape one is uh, there when i click on shape one hide that uh, is hidden shape two appear shape two is hidden show all hide all so this way you can uh, control the thing which we have achieved here when we click here we see only a pop-up for this particular stuff when we click here we see a pop-up of that stuff so that's how you can make your sheets more interactive thank you for watching this uh, tutorial keep watching our videos for more such tips thank you